good morning. Um, a sudden pain in your chest and feeling that you're out of breath is such a horrible feeling and you cannot describe it at all. Sorry. So, okay, so I'm gonna be talking about panic attacks and how they affect our bodies. How they, how they affect our bodies. Uh, what the definition of a panic attack is and what are some cures. Well, what are some ways to cope with it? Doctors say that changes in the brain can lead to panic attacks and it's common in all ages, especially in young adults like us. And it's something that people have to deal with on a daily basis, not knowing when it's gonna happen or how they're gonna take it. Uh, the reason I can talk about panic attacks is because I personally have suffered from panic attacks. So I am able to explain to you what it feels like and will walk you through this. So my first point is going to be about what a panic attack is. So a panic attack is, by the definition by WebMD, is a sudden surge of overwhelming anxiety and fear. So basically, when you're in the stage of having a panic attack, you lose control over your body. You don't know exactly how long it's going to take or what you're going to feel, but they usually last less than 10 minutes. In a rare occasion, there has been a time where it happens um, to be an extended version of an hour, but you don't know exactly, but that's just a rare occasion. They are unpredictable, so you could be sitting down right now and you could be having a panic attack at this moment. Also, some things that lead to panic attack are depression, trouble sleeping, overwhelming fear, and symptoms that that don't make you feel good about yourself. Like um, there's something sometimes that suicide thoughts can lead to panic attacks just because your mind is uh, going on full speed and doesn't know what to do with it. So what do panic attacks do to our body? Is it serious? Yes, panic attacks are serious because they take over our emotions. So on a daily basis, you don't, under you don't know what you're going to experience. You could be talking to someone normally and then something can spark something in your head and you're conscious and you're still conscious and you can just be suffering from a panic attack. Um, as said by Timberland Knowles, uh, panic attacks can cause fears of leaving home. So you're always scared of being in public. Uh, you don't always want to go out, you kind of want to stay home. You're trying, you're trying to avoid awkward situations, trying to avoid um, places that uh, cause interaction with other people because you're afraid that when you have a panic attack, you don't know how you're going to act at that moment and you don't know how that person's going to react towards you. Uh, panic attacks can make uh, other symptoms worse, like depression, um, trouble sleeping. So all those, all these symptoms are worsened by panic attacks because you are not able to control them yourself. Uh, Timberland Knowles says that Two panic attacks in a year or in your lifetime should not be a serious problem, but if you have more than two panic attacks in your life, then it is considered a panic disorder, which is a serious medical condition that needs treatment or it can cause a suffering lifestyle. So if you have more than two panic attacks in your lifespan, you are most likely to be suffering from panic disorder and you would be willing to need to consult a doctor and receive treatment because the symptoms of panic attacks can make, like I said, other symptoms worsen, so you can lead to suicide thoughts, and yeah, we're trying to avoid that, right? How to overcome a panic attack. So, the reason I put to stay calm is because you have to remember that you are going to be fine. You will be able to overcome it. It lasts a little while, it does hurt, but you're gonna be fine after it. You have to analyze the situation. Remember that you are surrounded by good people and you're gonna be fine after it all passes. Um, some, of things, some other things to take into consideration would be to be more active, to exercise, go walking, stretch, um, turn to yoga or other forms of meditating that will help you relax your mind and your body in order to not feel so um, stuck and not cause a panic attack. Um, so learning about panic attacks is helpful because you're able to understand people that suffer from panic attacks. Like I said, I suffer from panic attacks sometimes. And it, it is a horrible experience, but after doing some of these things, it has helped me reduce 
um, my panic attacks and I am more calm. So, in conclusion, panic attacks are horrible and they do happen every once in a while, but learning more about panic attacks will help you understand someone who suffers them and you can help and give advice to those who suffer from them as well.